11 and one regular season just to finish it off with a win on, on senior day today and set it up everything up for next week. What's it feeling like? Yeah, I mean, I think you just mentioned the biggest part of that win. Um, those seniors talk about so many guys that come in here every day and have for the last several of years. Those, a lot of those guys have been in here for six years and given everything they've got, stayed here at chances they could have left. And so um, it goes out to those guys, and it was a big win for those guys to finally come together as a team and uh, just win like that. Last regular season home game, uh, it was big for sure. I know you, I mean, I know you settled for a couple field goals and maybe felt like it could have been a bigger margin, but overall, I mean, offensively, you guys moved the ball. How do you, how do you feel like you guys played? Yeah, I mean, I thought offensively we did do a good job. There's certain things, yes, we probably <clears throat> want to finish better when it comes to the red zone, um, but <laughs> multiple first downs, like, I don't know, there's a lot. So that was a big part of it, but uh, we, we had a couple drives that still we probably shot ourselves a little bit, but overall, I felt offensively um, we did a good job, and that was, that was a big-time game. <clears throat> Going into next week, especially. To be able to get the lead early, hold on to lead, not have to come back like you have in the, in the past couple of weeks. How nice was that? Yeah, it was. I mean, uh, I think the challenge now is once we get those leads, we kind of got to uh, step away a little bit more and uh, find more comfort, I guess. But uh, those, those guys were tough. A lot of people, um, they kind of turned their season around a little bit the last uh, couple of games. And so that was a tough team. And so it was, it was a tough win overall, but um, it was good for sure. Which end of uh, how Matt Louder play, especially that, that deep run at the end, towards the end of the game? Yeah, I mean, Matt's always doing uh, Matt Louder things for sure. I think early in the week he told me he was going to hurdle someone, so when I saw him go up in the air, that was huge. But talk about a guy that uh, run game especially has been awesome, and then he gets rewarded for things like that. And so um, he's a stud. He's, he's going to be a tight end that plays at the next level for sure. Was that drive uh, after they, you know, Jinty fumbled and they came down and scored, and then it's only 14-7 there with you know under two minutes till half to to come down and get seven out of that? Uh, how big was that? Yeah, that was huge. I mean, we always talk about the statistics of the game in general, and so to be able to uh, score in kind of the middle eight, I guess, was huge. And uh, I think the offense, we kind of got ourselves in a little bit of rhythm in that last drive before half. So it was, that was that was big time for sure. Austin had that uh, touch, first touchdown for you. You know, he had the. A big catch there, I think, in the I forget, it was second or third quarter, but uh, got you guys a first down. Just how, how big was he today? Yeah, he was huge. I mean, he's kind of been that guy that's always just been able in the right position to make plays when he needs to. And so uh, that's just another guy that comes in here and grinds. And then uh, to see him get a couple of catches was huge, and especially a touchdown. The first touchdown of the game was huge. Yeah, maybe the completion percentage isn't there, but there were some drops and things. But overall, I mean, uh, you trying to rebound from, from last week, uh, how do you think you played today? Yeah, I mean, I thought uh, decision-wise was – probably the, one of the best games I've played for sure. And uh, there are certain things I know it was a goal this week to kind of, for throwing the ball away, let's make it an actual throw away. And so that was a big emphasis in my game. And um, I felt personally I did make the decisions I needed to and put the ball in the place I needed to for sure. Roger Carrion and Mason Randolph are both back. How much does that help the, uh, the line improve? Yeah, 100%. Um, those two guys, they seriously are – Two of the funniest guys, especially when they're together. But uh, they bring a leadership um, aspect to the room. Obviously, you got Ben and Cage. Those guys do a great job. But uh, Roger and Mace, they, they bring something else to that room uh, of kind of a mean uh, little deal. So it's, it's helped us immensely. And going for, further, it's going to be a huge um, thing. But also, I think we, we've seen that we have depth and we can make things happen with what we have. And so uh, those guys back is huge. And it helps our offense a lot. Four weeks maybe haven't been the prettiest wins of all time, but you know, as the pressure builds and everything builds, you just continue to find. We saw you know Tulane couldn't win last night. You guys just continue to find ways to win. What, what what's that say about this team to, to be in this position now? You know, one one game away from your goals. Yeah, I mean, hundred percent. I think you talk about from January to now of a team that's constantly trained to finish um, certain things and be tough. And you've seen the last four weeks have been. November is not easy to win in, and people always say that. You've seen so many teams go down, and so for our team to kind of uh, sink to the level of our training and know that we can win games in the ugliest elements and still win is huge. And I think you talk about the goal and kind of where we're at, knowing we're playing one more game at a time is just huge for sure. Have not be one more at a time, just one. You <laughs> yeah. know, and what, what, to get to this point now and be one game away, literally from, from all your goals that you, you set back, you know, the day after the UCLA game, just, just what is the feeling like going into this week? Yeah, I mean, it's a blessing. I think 
there was probably a few people outside of this building that thought that we were going to be in this position that we are. But um, if you look at all 115 guys on the football team right now and ask them if, in January if you knew we were going to be this at this position at the end of the year, I think everyone would say yes. And so uh, that's kind of the mindset that we have. And it's, it's a blessing to be able to have this last game in the Mountainless Championship for sure. For you personally, not being able to play postseason football last year, what's it mean to you now to to be there? You know, to be playing in a championship game, and and you know, just whatever is on beyond that, and just what does anything change in terms of kind of the the, the mode you guys are in? Um, not really as much. I think every week we go into winning football games, and so um, I feel like personally on my level, missing that postseason last year was hard for me. Um, but I've been able to see and like learn from the older guys kind of how to handle the pressure of postseason. And so um, going to this next game, nothing's really going to change. We're going to play our brand of football, and uh, that's worked. So. For a 10 a.m. kickoff, I mean, this place was packed. It was rocking. How, how much does that make you appreciate the home field advantage you're going to have next week? Yeah, 100%. I mean, you talk about one of the best home field advantages in the country, and <laughs> It may not seat 100,000 people, but it sounds like 100,000 people. And Bronco Nation does a great job of showing up every week. And the fact that like that student section was full on Thanksgiving break kind of shows um, the support that we're getting and receiving. So it's huge. Bronco Nation's a big deal, um, and they help us. And so going in next week, a home field advantage is killer because it is an advantage. Six minutes in, and we haven't asked about Ashton just because it kind of seems like it's it's what he does. But to rush for 200 yards again and crowds chanting his name there in the second half, just what – the season he's put together now, I mean, is there anything else you can say that you have I said? I mean, already? everything that I've said about Ash has probably been said, but um, the, the support that that guy gets from the fans is huge. I mean, at one point I was like, let's chill out a little bit. It was we're, We have the ball, but no, I mean, Ash is just Ash, and he's going to do what Ashton does, and so he's an elite football player. He's going to play for several of years after this, but um, I, there's not much to say about it other than the fact he's just pure elite. 37 carries for him today, you know, just getting hit 37 times a football game, just how tough is that and how impressive is what he does and how his body just holds up? Yeah, that's not easy, but a lot of people don't know that, this about Ashton, but he's in here before almost everyone getting taken care of and when it comes to his bodies. But I think the difference maker in that compared to other running backs is his complete mindset of he knows um, he's got to make plays and so he's not going to sacrifice – I guess, being out of games for his body. And so um, now at the end of the season, Ash knows we need Ash more than anything. And so that's kind of his mindset. And it's a blessing to me, but I know multiple people are seeing that Ash is just going to take care of his body and do what he needs to. Now, you know, towards the end of the game, you had that last rushing touchdown. What was the decision there? Because obviously you guys were trying to push him in for the first two plays. The second play, or the third play was a passing play, I believe, incomplete. And then you took it in. What was the decision? Um, down there at the yeah, I mean, it's kind of a game plan thing for sure, but um, it was actually like the first run play that we had called. It was just kind of a conversation with Coach Cutter and I, of like, hey, pull this ball. So that was really it. But uh, like I said, we can go back to this Ashton Genty effect where all those guys had to play Ashton. Great. Thank you.